Now, it's been 12 years since a powerful earthquake of magnitude 9 along with a powerful tsunami triggered the Fukushima nuclear disaster crisis. The natural disaster rocked the Japanese cities of Fukushima, Miyagi and Iwate. The powerful earthquake had also triggered a big tsunami. Together, the two had caused havoc at Fukushima's nuclear reactor. The calamity had resulted in the displacement of over 31,000 people. On Saturday, Japan marked its 12th anniversary of the tragedy that killed almost about 20,000 people and displaced thousands more, rendering their homes simply uninhabitable due to a radiation leak in the region. The Japan's Prime Minister Fumio Kishida attended the memorial event in Fukushima along with others. Kishida observed a minute's silence to remember the ones who had lost their lives in the tragedy. The Prime Minister also laid flowers and said that this is of course a tragedy that Japan would simply not forget. Tokyo電力福島第一原子力発電所の事故は多くの県民の皆様から日々の暮らしを奪いました。災害のご家族やご親族、ご友人を失われた方々のお気持ちを思うと、今なお愛席の念に耐えません。even after so many years, controversy still persists over the cleanup in the aftermath of the nuclear disaster. The cleanup plans are stoking controversy over the planned discharge from spring of treated water that is stored at the crippled Fukushima plant into the sea. Water contaminated after being pumped into the reactors to cool melted fuel has accumulated in the facility and the volume is also increasing due to rainwater and groundwater at the site that is flowing in. Vyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.